Hi guys, my name is Magali and if it's your first time on my channel then welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I make regular videos on beauty, fashion, travel and lifestyle. So if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to press the red subscribe button below this video and subscribe to my channel so that you're always notified whenever my new videos come out. Lakme recently launched the Lakme Absolute Matte Ultimate Lip Colors. There are 12 shades. I have tried each and every one of them. And in today's video, you guys are going to see swatches both on my hand as well as on my lips. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what I think of each shade. And finally, I will review what I think of this collection as a whole. If you guys are interested in these lipsticks, I have all of the information for you guys. Just keep watching. Now, this particular collection is from Lakme Absolute, which is Lakme's more high-end makeup brand. 9 to 5 and all, those are like little bit cheaper ones. So they say that this collection has glamorous matte lipsticks suited for every single location. There's a pretty decent shade range as well. There are plums, pinks, reds. This is supposed to be a comfortable soft matte finish. It's enriched with argan oils. It will hydrate your lips and it will prevent them from drying out. You get 3.5 grams of product per lipstick tube. The formula of the lipstick is pretty solid. So this is not a type of lipstick that will get over very easily. Like if you have a balm texture, that's something that will finish really fast fast but even the shades that I use the most heavily they hardly have a dent in them so it will last quite well these lipsticks are priced at rupees 800 each though if you buy online you can get a decent price discount anywhere between 5% to 20% off I always buy all of my lip colors online even if I sometimes swatch in stores I'll then go and make the purchase on my phone or my computer I'm going to leave a link below to where I buy my lipsticks from. All of the lipsticks come in a small box and then this is what the lip bullet looks like. This is something that Lakme has had for a few years now. I don't know exactly how long but they haven't really changed the packaging. I don't really have any specific thoughts on it. I think the shiny metallic gold looks nice. Let me start showing you guys the shades and I'm going in the order by which they're numbered. The first one is 101 Sinful Cherry. I would describe this as a shade of red only. It's a really bright cherry crimson. It's got warmer undertones, I think, but it's not orange or anything. And this should easily suit all skin tones and look good for day or night time. Next shade I have is 102 Red Extreme. As the name suggests, this is another red kind of shade. Let's say it's closer to a true red that's neither too warm or too cool. This is the kind of red that would easily go on every single skin tone. It's nicely balanced and looks beautiful. The next shade I have is 201 Petal Pink. This is one of the lightest shades among all of them. It's a sort of a pale, muted, dusty, pinky nude shade. It doesn't have a lot of pigment. I think this is the kind of shade that would suit lighter skin tones or light to medium skin tones better. Just because when a lipstick shade is really pale, it has the tendency to wash out darker skin tones. That's not to say darker skinned people can't wear this, but I feel you need to know how to work it with your makeup. It's a bit more of a complicated shade this will be a good everyday wear kind of nude for light to medium skin tone people i am medium dark and even on me i felt that it was a little on the lighter side and i could make it work but i didn't really love the color on me so this is shade number 202 rose pink and in the past i think i've complained that lacme plays it very safe with their lip colors and they are always like wearable but sort of boring colors and they don't do adventurous shades well i'm eating my words <laughs> with this particular lipstick it's a super bright and attention grabbing it's a sort of a almost neon pinky coral so if you're doing your makeup and you want your lips to really get attention 
you guys should wear this shade i found this shade a little bit difficult to work just because of how bright it was but i really like that lakme is stepping out of their comfort zone and giving us these fun shades as well it might not be something to wear for every day but i think it would look great for parties weddings and such if you match this with like the right kind of makeup if you guys like bright pink lipsticks but don't want to go quite so bright there are more options for you as well so don't worry about that the next shade that we are going to talk about a shade number 203 rouge splash so by the name maybe you wouldn't be able to tell but this is also a bright pink it's just not as neon as the previous shade but it's a lovely fuchsia with a slightly warm undertone a really pretty color and i think this is also something that would look good on every skin tone from the lightest to the darkest the next shade is 204 berry boost and this is actually what i'm wearing on my lips right now as well because i felt that this was the color that most closely coordinated with my top and i kind of wanted to match so this is also from the red family it's just a deeper red i would sort of classify this as a brick red it's a red with a little bit of um, like deeper brown mixed into it really gorgeous shade i love how it looks on me and i think it would also do well for all skin tones the next shade is 205 orchid pink this is another pretty bright pink shade and i think it's quite similar to rouge splash it's a fuchsia kind of color except that rouge splash is something that leans a little bit on the warmer side orchid pink is a little bit more purpley it has cool blue undertones i really like this shade as well though it's super pretty and would go with all skin tones So a really quick note about undertones that I keep mentioning. I think most people can carry off both warm and cool undertones, but it's really nice to know what may work better for you in general. Warm undertones look really nice on most Indian skin because our skin tends to lean a little bit warmer, so it just it complements most skin colors nicely. While it also tends to bring out the warmth in your teeth so it does sometimes make teeth look a little bit yellower on the other hand cool undertones can very slightly clash with skin color but they usually bring out the coolness in your teeth so then your teeth look bluer and a brighter white shade next i have shade number 206 delicious plum i think this shade is really aptly named it is a deep plum these are the type of shades that you wear more in winter and more during the evenings but that doesn't mean you can't wear it in the summer and that doesn't mean you can't wear it during the daytime this shade is also quite vampy and i think it looks really really pretty and of course this would suit everybody now i have shade number 301 brunch nude this is also one of the lighter shades of the bunch just like petal pink and this is just like a beigey nude shade something that kim kardashian would wear maybe with smoky eyes it looks really pretty but again i feel that this is something that lighter to medium skin toned people can carry off a little better darker skin people can wear it but since it's light it has a chance of sort of washing you out ever so slightly but on most lighter skin people i think it would look great as an everyday wear shade here's shade 302 chocolate brownie everything from the 90s is back in fashion again including these hair clips by the way brown shades were big then and brown shades are coming back now in the bullet the shade looks pretty dark so i thought i knew what it looked like but once i applied it i really liked the way the shade looked i feel that the formula of this particular shade is a little bit firmer so while most of the other shades in just one swipe you get pigmentation this one you need to put two swipes but i really like how gorgeous the shade looks it would go so well on every skin tone it's like a deeper nude and it doesn't scream i'm wearing brown lipstick it just it looks really pretty i think this is one of my favorite shades of the bunch and something that would look beautiful on everybody so when i think about summer makeup the first thing that comes to my mind is orange lips now i know orange might scare some people but trust me it is the perfect shade for summer and if you guys don't want to go like really bright neon orange like an orange popsicle then you guys should check out this shade 
it's number 303 royal rust and ever since i've had all of these lipsticks for a good few weeks maybe a month this is the one that i've reached for the most it's not red it's not orange i would say the shade is something in between it's very wearable it's very pretty it just goes with everything it just enhances your look also another shade that would look great on everyone and if like me you also enjoy occasionally wearing really bright lipstick you guys are going to love 401 this shade is called orange county and this is a bright neon orange that looks like an orange popsicle it's a really pretty color i felt that when i put just swipe, one swipe of it on my lips you could still see my original lip color like i didn't get full pigmentation i like that the formula is not like too thick or chalky it's nice and thin and smooth so i went in with a second coat so that i could get nice coverage on my lips it's bright it's perfect for fun daytime looks it's perfect for like summer vacations it's also a lovely shade that would go well on everybody you just need to have the right attitude to pull off a nice bright orange now that i've taken you guys through all of the swatches of the shades i'm going to talk about the collection on the whole i really like the formula of this and i think it's quite true to how lakme has described it so if you are someone who likes a full-on matte lip color and something that dries down completely you might not like this because it goes on really smooth and in the beginning there is a little bit of shine but within 15 minutes or so the shine would die down and like it would be drier but it never goes like fully dry matte and i like that because i i hate those liquid matte lipsticks that go fully matte they are so uncomfortable they settle into all your lip lines whenever i wear those type of matte shades i really hate the way my lips feel when i have this on i like how nicely it glides on i like how most of the shades i just need one swipe very few of them i need two swipes but it gives intense color payoff i think the formula is really lovely i always say take care of your lips if you want to wear matte lipsticks because if your lips are dry then it's not going to look good but with these lipsticks even if you've been lazy and you've not been putting your lip balm every day i think your lips will still look nice so i really really like the formula but it's not a true matte it's more of a satin matte or comfort matte the color payoff is great once it's on your lips the formula is very light i would say it's something more like weightless you really can't feel like okay there's something on my lips there's a product and i can feel it you can easily wear this for hours like me says 12 hours so if you don't eat a meal it might last you 12 hours if you eat then the lipstick might disappear a little bit when the lipsticks are in that earlier stage where they're still a little shiny little glossy that time they do transfer not a lot but the darker shades will transfer if you touch them or you know if you like drink from a glass or anything like that the lighter shades don't really transfer much the lipsticks remove fairly easily with either makeup wipes or micellar water those are the products that i prefer to use i've been using the simple skincare products and if you guys would like a review of that also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that review is coming soon the lighter shades don't stain at all the darker shades do leave the slightest bit of stain which has never bothered me in a lipstick but it's good to know i guess i think the shade range is also really nice most of the shades save for the two lighter ones would look good on everybody i think there's a good balance between safe shades and fun shades there are more red brown kind of colors because that is the safest kind of lipstick for most indian skin tones but there are a lot of fun pinks as well if you ask me to pick my three favorite shades from the range this is wholly subjective by the way the shades that i like the most are berry boost the one that i'm wearing on my lips right now i also really like chocolate brownie because i think it's a nice interesting shade of brown that's not like really dark brown but something that's very cute and wearable and then i also really like royal rust because it's not a red it's not an orange it's just a really pretty color and i've worn this so much since i got it 
all in all i'm just really impressed with this lipstick collection i think lakme has done a really good job with the shade as well as the formula the only con i can find is yeah there is matte in the name and if you guys were expecting that really like drying proper matte formula this is not it but otherwise i am really happy with this and if you guys are looking for a good long wearing collection something that you could wear every day to work and not worry about constantly reapplying it not worry about your lips looking really dry this is like a really beautiful collection for daily wear for parties whatever so yeah i think that is it for this particular review if you guys have any questions at all feel free to leave a comment down below and i will get back to you if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye